want to give a very special thanks to MGA for sending Simone Summers to us as a gift for free. What's up, fabs and besties? New friends have arrived from Pacific Coast, and you know what that means. Time for another Does the Fit Fit? Sorry, but I'm taking over this video. What? Wait! We've already met Hallie, Phaedra, Bella, and Harper in previous videos. For Harper, we already know her clothes can fit a Barbie. Oh man, the letters are peeling off the elastic. But here's the bathing suit on a classic Barbie. The bottoms are a little big around the leg, which makes me wonder if they can fit a curvy. That's a no for the shorts. And a yes on the bathing suit. It is a snug fit, but the bottoms look better on a curvy than a classic in my opinion. However, the top is barely holding on but the shorts easily fit an original. Let's check out one of our new additions, Margot de Perla. I ordered this doll on Amazon and after the Cheryl incident, I told myself not to do that anymore, but I couldn't find her in my area, so I did it anyway. I really need to follow my own rules. If you look closely at her right hand eye, you can see that the eyelashes are a little bit off. Actually, I think it's the shape of her eye too. This doll has light colored hair. It's like a pearly white, pale turquoise, light blue, and a soft lavender with tinsel. Personally, I'm not a fan of tinsel, but it does add a nice little sparkle to her hair. She has bright blue eyes, freckles, a soft pink lip color, glitter eyeshadow, a scarf that velcros in the back. She has a pearly colored doll stand, shoes with little balls for heels. She wears a white bathing suit. The top has iridescent letters with gold details, ribbon straps, a little peekaboo cutout. She wears a skirt lined with pearls. Her swimsuit is a two piece. The bottoms also have a little gold detail and mine has a little mark on it. She comes with a white drawstring bag with gold details and you can actually pull the string. That's cool. She has sunglasses, a comb, and extra legs. Well, just the lower half of the leg. It's a nice fit on a classic Barbie. The top fits pretty good. Of course, the bag works. The little cover-up is cute, and for me, the bottoms fit better than Harper's. Overall, it's a pretty nice swimsuit. As far as design goes and compatibility with other dolls, probably my favorite so far. But we've only looked at two, so let's give Bella's a try. She has a pink and black one-piece with a pink cover-up and a cute pink bag. What? Yo, I was able to get it onto a curvy cover up and all. It is a very snug fit. So proceed with caution. It was a little easier to get the outfit onto an original. However, you do still need to stretch the top over the shoulders. And we end up with a high cut on the bottom of the bathing suit. But we could close it in the back and everything. So overall, not bad. Let's show the guys some love and check out Finn Rosado. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I do apologize. He has brown eyes, pink hair, wears a pink and black visor, has a pink sling bag with a working zipper. What? Little gold details. It opens and closes with Velcro on the side. He wears a two-tone sleeveless shirt that velcros in the back. He wears pink swim trunks with metallic letters and gold trim. The doll comes with sandals with painted details. Loving that. And Finn has ankles that move. I am definitely a fan of ankles and would love to see the girls with similar articulation. 
but that is a personal preference. A doll stand is included, as well as a surfboard. Love this. Nice rainbow graphic on the front, gold trim. It is curved. We have some little fins underneath and a leash. For me, this doll's hands are coming off pretty easily. So I'm just gonna have to be careful with that. I like the surfboard. I love when we get accessories. And personally, I wouldn't have mind if some of the girls came with surfboards rather than towels. This is the towel that came with Margot. I think I forgot to show it, but it's pretty cool looking. But I wouldn't have mind a surfboard. Just saying. He also comes with a pair of sunglasses. And yep, the fit fits. Loving the shorts. I might pair them with like a bathing suit top. Like maybe Margot's. Here it is on a Ken doll. The shorts fit great along with the sling bag. However, I might pair it with a different top. Here I paired it with a gray Ken tank top for another look. Give him the surfboard and he's done. Let's check out Phaedra's look. She has a large bag, an animal print one piece and a cover up. With the cover up on, it is absolutely perfect. The top looks good, the bag looks good, everything looks good. Without the wrap, it does have a very high cut on the leg, but it looks great on a curvy. Nice clean lines at the legs. It looks decent in the back. You can tell the fabric is stretched a little, but I'm loving the fit. Here is Simone Summers. Ooh, I'm loving Simone's color palette. We have pink, peach, and yellow. Her hair is very long and straight. She has the top pulled up into a little ponytail with a scrunchie. She has a visor. It's clear in the front. Feels like a faux leather. Sunglasses. Her makeup is in peach and yellow tones with a little bit of glitter above the eye. She does have sculpted and painted edges. She has a faux leather bag with lots of gold accessories. She wears an ombre skirt that gathers on the side, has an orange doll stand, wears sandals that match her visor, wears a one-piece bathing suit with white printed details and a belt. Her towel looks like sunglasses and she has an extra pair of legs. Oh yeah, I think I found my bathing suit for the summer. I am loving these colors. The belt is definitely a fun detail. The ombre skirt fits nicely. I like the little gold beads. The cut is a little high on the leg, but who are we kidding? I don't get in the water. I'm keeping the skirt on. The last bathing suit we're trying on today belongs to Haley Capri. It's a two piece with shorts. It's a very easy fit on a classic made to move body. Everything fits nicely in the back and the shorts are a great fit too. I was able to get the shorts on a curvy, but it's a very snug fit. However, the bathing suit itself fits just fine. Since these outfits are made of a stretchy fabric, it makes fitting other dolls a little easier. If you're concerned about stretching, then maybe a two piece is the way to go. But for the most part, I think it's pretty safe to say the fit fits. And I bet we can use some of the packaging to make a photo backdrop. Just trim off the tabs, glue it onto cardboard or foam board, cut out the gold birds on the side of the box, glue them over some of the cutouts to create a little rainbow glow in our photos. This works best when you have something really close to the camera so it kind of just blurs in the background so you don't really notice all of the lines. Thank you for joining us for another Does The Fit Fit? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.